questions. Do you understand? Who the hell are you? That's not important. What's important is who you are. What is your name? Fuck you. Where were you born? Kiss my ass. Your name is Samantha Maxis. You were born in Berlin, November 5th. Is that correct? Is that correct? I don't know. Everything is different now. Oh, I know that better than you. Where am I? You're in Block 8. A facility specifically designed to take care of people like you. Take care of people like me? You're here to undergo some specialized tests. What kind of tests? You'll find out soon enough. The Dark Aether changed you in many ways. I just need you to know how much. You don't know anything about me! Leave me alone. No. We've got work to do. Oh, you're going to electrocute me again? I really hope it doesn't come to that. <sighs> what do you want? I want you to show me some of your powers. Weaver and Gray both saw you do it. Why should I miss out? <sighs> what are you talking about? I want you to move something. Using only the power of your mind. If you'd come down from behind that glass, I'd move something, all right. Ah, uh, I was worried you'd be like this. Why can't we just get along? I promise you, what I'm doing is for your own good. You're insane. Maybe. But I know what you're capable of. I just want to see it for myself. What if I don't want to? That would force me into the regrettable position of having to use more severe methods. Is that a threat? No, not a threat. Just an incentive. Hello. Mr. Director. Oh, you heard me come in. You're very perceptive, aren't you? Do you know how long you've been here? <sighs> Not counting bathroom breaks and mandatory exercise. Fifteen days. As of today. And still no breakthrough? What kind of breakthrough do you want? Your only goal seems to be trying to make me angry. But I'm not. Just disappointed. You're probably going to be more disappointed when this session is over. You do know that none of them really care for you. Strauss, Carver, Weaver, even Gray. They've barely inquired as to your current situation. <laughs> That's not true. They wouldn't want me to be here. Yeah, you're just trying to manipulate me. Test my emotional responses. Like you did with them? Do you even know how much trouble you cause for your Requiem friends? Going behind their backs on your little secret squirrel mission with Ravenov? I looked Weaver in the eye when I was taken to be brought here. He didn't want this. 
Just have history, shared history, shared trauma. You wouldn't understand. I do understand. In fact, I was very forgiving about the whole thing. I mean, given Weaver's failures and lapses in security, I could easily have had him disappeared. Don't test me. Maybe I still should. I'm warning you! What on earth could you possibly do to me? You really are just a pathetic, sad, little, lost girl. Oh dear. I suppose we'll have to replace that glass now. But at least we're making progress. been a long time. I can hardly remember before. There is only now. And now is not the time I would wish upon anyone. This place has changed. It is unsustainable. Many bow before one. Those who do not are consumed. The rest of us, we cower in shadow. Some manage to escape, but the crossing between worlds is dangerous. They arrive home disfigured, changed into fiery demons, horrors devoid of humanity. I hear they are killed almost instantly, when all they wanted was to escape. But they were no longer human. So the good soldiers bring their suffering to an end. <laughs> 